What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video we're going to be talking about the Grand Tour Season 2. Last year I did a review of the first season, which when I was playing Drive Club actually, I do really miss that game. Ever since I stopped playing on PS4 I haven't played that game, and that game was just amazing. But that's not what this review is about anyways. Let's get into Grand Tour Season 2. Okay, so the first ep first episode, honestly, was just fantastic. It felt like I was watching the old Top Gear. I mean, this season seems like it's more car oriented than the last one. Like, the other season had literally a whole episode of just like, of them in the war field and shit. Which, eh, it was alright, it's alright. It was funny, but it wasn't really what I was expecting. It was cool, but, you know, I just prefer them driving around supercars, making shit jokes. But this first episode, though, this first episode is the episode where Richard Hammond's driving the car that he crashed a few months back and almost died. So, it's pretty good, dude. I mean, they're essentially, what they're doing is that they're testing out what type of car is better, like electric, um, hybrid, or petrol and Jeremy's driving beautiful a beautiful beautiful Aventador ha, um, May's driving a NXX NSX and Hammond's driving some some European car so no it, it's from a brand that you'll never hear from ever again if I had to guess maybe maybe I'm wrong well, you probably won't, considering the Tesla Roadster or whatever is coming out in a few months. That'll definitely dominate the market for electric cars. So, yeah, you'll never hear from them ever again. And if the Tesla Roadster was announced when they did that, I'm certain it would be the car that would be in there and not not the whatever car he's driving. But yeah, that's essentially what they do. It's really, really good. Do make sure to go check it out. And what else? Oh yeah, and they also, they got rid of American Stig or whatever. Or what, Redneck? Was it called Redneck? No, he actually wasn't. Um, whatever he was called. They, they, they got rid of him. And they also got rid of, like, the, the, you know, thing where they essentially would invite a celebrity on. And all they would do is show them dying. They actually now this season they're actually doing the thing they used to do at the top here where they used where they get where they get to where they get a celebrity and to make them do a time in a car. This season they're doing the F type, which is one of the sexiest cars in the world. I love this F type so much. Which is interesting. And this time they're doing essentially they're doing like the fastest weather man or the fastest weather girl which is pretty cool dude I, I i wonder if they'll like bring on youtubers and stuff that'd be pretty cool see maybe jake paul go up against rice gum that would be pretty cool be cringy as fuck but be pretty cool dude they definitely won't though but yeah that was essentially the full episode it was great usually i would wait for i would wait like for for at least three episodes to come out before I do do a review, but it was just so good and and I, and like last season was great, so why wouldn't this season be great as well? And the first episode was fantastic, so I'd have to guess first season is gonna be like that and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And that's it for this episode. If I had to give it a, a rating just on that episode i say an 8 out of 10 an 8 out of 10 just because it wasn't as funny as the top of your episode i mean it was definitely as entertaining but it wasn't as funny i mean like i i was watching a few a few top gear when i say a few i mean i watched like four or five seasons for a week because my internet was out and essentially every single episode i would like laugh my ass off dude because it would just be so good. And every, <laughs> everything they did is just so stupid. But I'm pretty sure from what they showed. Which they essentially show what's coming up. At, at, at the start of each season. 
pretty sure it's gonna get better. And it's gonna be they're gonna be doing even more stupid shit later on in the season. So yeah. I'm definitely going to be watching the rest of the season. Probably gonna enjoy myself. Have some real great fun watching Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond drive around supercars and do stupid shit. And I think you should too. So do me sure to go buy Amazon Prime. It's only, it's only like four euro anyways, which is pretty cheap. Or whatever it is in your currency. And watch the shit, dude. And if you haven't watched season one, make sure to go watch season one as well. And this is your boy V Man Cool, and I'm reporting out.